Hey everyone, my name is Teng Xiang Zhang from Institute of Computing Technology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. And here I'm going to present Thermal Rain, a gesture and tap inputs enabled by the Thermal Imaging Smart Rain. And this is a collaboration work between Chinese Academy of Sciences, Lenovo, Huawei, and Tsinghua University. So the Trinum IoT brings a plethora of smart devices and each with its own input interface. Aside from using the interface on the device, people can use a designated controller, use a smartphone as a universal controller, speak the command, or use in-air gestures. However, the controllers are not spontaneous. While voice commands and in-air gestures can be intrusive and tiring. So, we still need an input solution that is versatile, spontaneous, subtle, and private. So we propose Thermal Rain, which recognizes drawing gestures on flat surfaces for smart device control. can also recognize thin and passive thermal tags for quick access purpose. Thermal rain is an identity anonymous illumination environment, power efficient finger wound vision based input technique. It is versatile for its vision base and spontaneous subtle for its worn on a finger. It is also private since the thermal images does not reveal identity. In our paper, we use MLX90640 as the thermal camera, which has a size, a diameter of 8 mm and a height of 6 mm with a cost of around 40 US dollars and it only consumes 20 milliamps at 3 volts typical. Even though the prototype we used in the paper communicates with PC via a cable connected serial port, we do have a new version which uses Bluetooth to transmit the thermal image. The Bluetooth version firmware is open source on GitHub. All thermal images go through the same pre-processing flow. So after we get the raw temperature data, uh, we first scale the raw data and apply Gaussian filter to smooth the, the image. Then we apply Otuso thresholding and only keep the largest contour, which is assumed to be the interacting hand. Before diving into more details, let's look at some background and related work. Thermal camera works in the long wavelength infrared range. Oh and images the emitted energy from heat body. RGB and NIR cameras, however, images reflected energy from the object. The difference makes the thermal imaging more robust to illumination changes, and is more privacy preserving and power efficient. There are also a few works that use the thermal imaging for interaction purpose. Uh, thermal tablet uses um, a canvas to detect the drawing gestures and heat wave uh, uses um, a camera on top of the table to detect the traces left um, on the tabletop. And thermal reflection uses um, surrounding reflective surfaces for interaction purposes. Well, thermal ring directly images the hand itself. And since it's uh, located on the finger, it can fully leverage the dexterity of fingers, thus, thus enabling a richer interaction possibilities. So here in this paper, we'll talk about three example domains. And the first example domain is detecting drawing gestures. Users can use this asymmetrical bimanual interaction for its naturalness, easiness, and for the naturally framed interaction area by the accelerated hand. And there are 
uh, there is a six step sensing flow. Well, first, we extract the fingertip and uh, detect the finger lift operation for calibration. Then we estimate the XY coordinates and apply a camera filtering. Um, then we extract the features using bagel words of the fingertip movement angle and amplitude, which is fed into an SPM model for training and prediction. The detailed sensing algorithm can be found in our paper. We also conducted a user study to validate uh, our technique. We used nine graffiti gestures to represent eight smart devices and the cancel operation in order to test a smart device pairing task. We recruited uh, six participants and we conducted three sessions for each participant with 20 trials of each gesture per session. The rings are taken down uh, during the rest between sessions to mimic a more realistic usage scenario. We collected a total of 3,240 trials and of joint gestures and 360 for each gesture. And the average within use accuracy is 98.2%. The between use accuracy is 95.7%. We can see there's uh, uh, some uh, higher confusion between the joint gestures uh, uh, that are similar to each other. Uh, this sub this objective results show that users are feels the technique comfortable and convenient. They didn't mind to rotate the ring uh, the, uh, the direction for the sensing purpose, but they do have an issue with the input speed. And that's because we only use eight frames per second in our study. We believe a camera with a higher frame rate can enable a fast drawing gesture recognition. The second example domain is click and slide gesture sensing, which can be used to control smart devices. So we conducted a user study to validate the technique, the detailed the sensing algorithm can be found in our paper. We recruited eight participants, and for each participant, there is a three sessions, and in each session, we collect 16 clicks and eight slides operations. So in total, we collected 768 click gestures and 192 slide gestures. The overall operation accuracy is 94.9%. Um, and almost all slides uh, operations have uh, been successfully completed. The users feel that uh, they can locate four buttons and two sliders by referring to the auxiliary hand. And the users do not have issue with locating the UI and feels the technique to be uh, precise and not tiring. In the next example domain, we show how thermal ring can be used to recognize thermal tags. Thermal tags are thin and passive tags made of high heat reflection materials. In a DIY manner, users can use a knife and cut through a copper tape to make thermal tab tags. And the thermal tags works by reflecting the heat from the hand uh, during the imaging process. And we design the interaction process to be touch, lift, and hold to ensure the accuracy of the detection. The user first touch the camera on the tag, then lift the camera to around 300 millimeters uh, height and hold there for, uh, for a period. We conducted a pilot study to determine the optimal tag size to be the 20 millimeter square. We also conducted a user study to validate the tag scanning operation. We scanned uh, six different thermal tags, which is play, stop, help, up, down, and search. We recruited eight participants. And for each participant, there's, uh, there are two sessions with uh, six blocks per session, 
and 20 trials per block. So there's 190, uh, 1,920 scans and 320 for each tag. And the average within user accuracy is 95% and between user accuracies is 90.1%. Uh, and the average time spent on completing the scan is only 3.5 seconds. The users uh, do not think our technique is physically or mentally demanding, and they are happy with the scan speed. We believe there are more application scenarios. For example, users can control a smart kitten from the table, or control a smart speaker even from a chair. Users can also easily apply thermal tags on the whiteboard to navigate the slides. Or a thermal tag on the door so that when it pushes the door open, the light are automatically on. Here we discuss some limitations of future work. We did not evaluate the thermal ring with blocked images in the paper. Also, we only conducted indoor validation since it's mainly intended for smart space interaction. Evaluations and the more user scenarios are required for final product. The versatile input requires a mode switch mechanism. So thermal ring can be used to complete different tasks in their nature. A single or double tabs on the table can be a good mode switch gesture. It is also important to add visual or haptic feedback to ensure a certain interaction experience. Thermal ring can be used to interact on lap or inside a pocket of a bag thanks to its illumination invariant nature. This enables discrete and one-handed interaction. For future work, we think it is um, helpful to use 3D printed cases to build standard thermal UI elements so that it's easier uh, for users to scan. Thermal rings can also be used to recognize in-air gestures, recognize objects against heat body, for example, a tape on a palm, or detect the current contacts. The last image shows a hand that is uh, holding a pen and writing. Thanks.